Now, it's helpful to understand why. Why the decline? Why why's trust declined over the past 30 years? What's going on? And, uh, and I'll, I'll talk you through some things, but I want you to, to know in advance, some of these causes of the decline of trust cannot be solved in the short term. Some of them can. So I want us to focus on the things we can do something about in the short term. And if we do that in the long term, trust will, will increase. And actually, there's good data that shows that when we become more trustworthy, trust goes up. So there's hope. So the first uh, cause is generational change. And we can't really change this so much in the short term. Why is generational change cause the decline in trust? This picture uh, is a picture of what Brokaw called the great generation. The great generation came together and overcame adversity. Right? So they had this idea that if we collaborate, if we partner, if we trust our neighbor, that we can overcome really incredible things like the Great Depression and World War II. That created a sense of optimism and trust among that generation. Unfortunately, every generation since, trust has declined. Another reason is there's more risk, uncertainty, and a shrinking pie. Occupy Wall Street. What's driving that? Unemployment, to some degree, and a question of perceived fairness, of how do I get a job? How do I keep a job? How do I uh, earn a, a, a living for my family? So when uncertainty goes up, trust becomes more problematic. What I call extreme capitalism. Short-termism versus sustainability. Opportunism versus benevolence. So this was in... Uh, dramatically depicted during the global financial crisis, or really leading up to the global financial crisis, where there was a culture of get in, get yours, and get out before it crashes. That is short-termism, and that is opportunism. And the opposite of those things is sustainability, stewardship for the long term, care about not only my generation, but future generations, and benevolence. I care about others. So we, you know, I'm a big believer in capitalism, but like most situations, theories and, and um, institutions, it probably needs to evolve. And there's a lot of conversation now about what that needs to look like. You hear terms like conscious capitalism. Uh, but clearly it needs to change because we, we have had a crisis for some very clear reasons that we need to do something about. Another reason for the decline of trust is a shortage of the trustworthy leaders and organizations. Now, I don't mean by this to say that people are become less ethical. What I mean is, in this complex, fast-changing world that leaders need to exist in, it's harder to be a trustworthy leader. Right? So to some degree, we've lost confidence in leaders and organizations to navigate these turbulent times. And that's caused trust to decline. Another element is entitlement and the romance of leadership. Now, this is actually interesting, and I'd like to maybe get some self-reflection about this. One of the reasons why trust has declined is we have a romance and a fantasy about leadership. We, we convince ourselves sometimes that if we just had the right president, if we just had the right CEO, if I just had the right director, all these problems would go away. Is that fair? Is that accurate? Or is it us living in a dream world and, and a sense of entitlement, right, where we, we, it's, a, it's a scapegoating process? Right? We want to blame the leader and not take responsibility. The truth is that trust really requires a system of trustworthiness. And one leader cannot entirely change that. Now, that doesn't mean we take personal responsibility out of the equation. But it doesn't help when we engage in victim thinking and blame leaders and don't take responsibility to ourselves. So that's another reason for the decline. Another reason for the decline is there's an ample supply of naive versus discerning trusters. People are easily duped because they don't understand how to make a rigorous, thoughtful trust decision. That creates a market for the untrustworthy. If that were less the case, if we had all discerning trusters, we'd have more trust because the untrustworthy would go out of business. And I'll talk a little bit more about that.